Hello. <laughs> I've learned so much from you and I've come so far. What about today? New things today, yes? Oh, yes. Deeper understanding about things today? Yes. That's the best part of this, isn't it? It is really it, is. It, because you don't just start at the beginning. You can just be where you are and it all begins to make sense all over again, doesn't yeah. it? Yes. How do we stay there without you here all the time? I listen to your videos. It's almost sick. I listen to your videos all the time. Because it's not a mental thing. It's a vibrational thing. Yes. All you have to do is what our friend was just demonstrating. All you have to do is remember what it feels like to be in alignment and you're right back there again. Okay. That brings me to the one question. Cause honestly, my questions have been answered. Just like you said, you will cover everything. I have a specific thing I have trouble with. It's really embarrassing. I have learned how to get on the high flying disc and I've gotten better at staying there longer. Now it's getting more intense. And when I fall, I fall hard. Good. And I have a really hard time getting back up there. Listen to your story and the answer is in your story. I work hard to get on the high flying disc and I'm there and I feel really good and lots of momentum goes. And when I fall, I fall very hard. Now feel the intensity of your awareness of not being where you want to be. Oh yeah. Well, of course, whatever you're focused on is just going to hold you there longer. If someone called you on the telephone and said, hello, you don't know me. I'm just calling to tell you I will never call you again. You'd say, okay, <laughs> all right. But if somebody you really care about calls and tells you that you're going to fall hard. Yeah. You're going to take it harder. So the good news is, and this is the only thing you want to take away from the experience that you've just described. This matters to me. Yes. Feeling good really, really matters to me. And that's why we said good. When you said how miserable you were, <laughs> we love it. When you say I'm consciously aware of the utter despair I feel when I'm not on the high flying disc, we say, good, your guidance is alive and well, and that's going to serve you so well. If you said, Oh, I get on the high flying disc and it's great. And then I get off and it doesn't bother me that much. That would be a whole different conversation. True. True. Okay. And here's the sticking point. Like now this listen is... to your words. I fall off. It feels yeah. awful. I can't get back on. I'm stuck. <laughs> no, actually it's my partner. I find that when, when I screw up in the morning and I fall and I catch myself quicker and quicker, I say, Okay, I, I'm sorry. I'm ready to get back on. He won't let me. It's almost like I have to pay for it all day until the next morning. How do I get myself on despite because I really care what he thinks and I don't want to. You can't get around your beliefs about his beliefs. What do I do there? How am I tripping up there? So just listen to this conversation. So you're on the high flying disc and do you think that your attention to your partner is the reason you fell or Probably. did you? Yeah. Yeah. I, no, I know I have beliefs and so stuff. it wasn't unrelated to him. It was related to him that you fell and met him on that level. Now there's two of you with that kind of momentum. Of course, it's going to last all day. Even if one of us really is like, well, if you really were, you wouldn't have fallen, but you see, you're doing what we've been talking about here. You're living conditionally when he's up there and you focus on him, the two of you stay there together. But if he's down here, you've got what is itis going on. Yeah. How do I avoid letting that affect me in here? First by understanding it, by appreciating it, by not adding more words about it, by not trying to blame him about it. Now that's all what not to do. What to do is, we just have some questions for you. What yeah. do you prefer feeling good or not feeling good? Feeling good. What do you prefer maintaining your vibration regardless of what's going on around you or being affected by what's going on around you? Maintaining. What is logical to you? If you've got strong, good feeling momentum going, is it less likely that you will fall? Oh yeah. So do you really believe, are you really telling us to us the way it is that you were really had strong high flying momentum and you fell? Don't say yes, because that defies the laws as we know them to be. Yeah, I so know you were teetering around there something. anyway. You weren't really on the high flying disc. In other words, we know sometimes it feels like that, but yeah. conditional high flying diskiness is, is never secure. Because if you are conditionally on your high flying disc, that means the next thing that person does could affect you this way and this way and this way and this way. Yeah. It's like watching television. That's exactly my problem. I need to find a way to separate myself. Well, what you do is you realize you've got to get out ahead of it. Yeah. And the subject that we're talking about is the subject of momentum. Mm -hmm. So you want to find a way of getting into a better feeling place and staying there long enough. And maybe is your relationship with this person so contentious that you fall off every single day? Actually, I don't know. I do have a hard time believing I'm loved. 
Do you know what I mean? I hear the words, I all that, but I think because I don't love myself so much, I have a hard time believing that, and then I'm looking for evidence. So it is a conditional thing. I want to figure out how to get out of that. Well, you just have to do it a little bit at a time, and we've been talking about that a little bit here today and quite a bit yesterday, that the best way to feel that worthiness, to feel that love, is by deliberately accomplishing something that feels good and maintaining it long enough that the universe can yield something lovely to you. Mm. And when the universe yields something lovely to you and you feel loved, not from that person or that specific person, but when something nice comes to you as a result of your alignment, acknowledge it and therefore perpetuate the momentum of what it feels like when you're on the high flying disc. The first thing that you must do, any of you, you've got to be real about what the high flying disc feels like to you. And so we encouraged Esther some time back when she thought she was feeling good to just do her best to goose it up more. Focus on more, milk it more until you can really feel, until you really have that all encompassing feeling where you know you took it to a place of alignment. And the more you do that, then two things happen. You're more sensitive to what's going on in your vibration and you're less likely to be affected by conditions that are surrounding you. Oh. You have a tendency, you explained it to us really clearly. You love feeling good, but you're, and not just you, almost everybody, Esther had no idea how much she depended upon Jerry's appreciation of her for her connection. She didn't know. She thought she was just in alignment all the time until he wasn't there focusing on her and then she found out ooh uh oh yeah so what happens is as you are depending on someone else for feeling good then they've got to be really stable and if they are then you can go a long time having a really good time but if they're not stable then you're up and down and up and down and so then you begin pronouncing it their fault everyone sort of felt you do that when you first introduced the words my boyfriend to the conversation in other words I'm blaming him for the way no, that I, I feel I recognize I'm in and this. so here's what it is I want to be loved and when I feel like he is then I feel good and all is well I want to be loved and when he's not looking at me when he's looking at something else then I fall off my high flying disc you got it and so the answer is is to realize that you're looking for love in all the wrong places <laughs> and I've heard this for 10 years <laughs> but here you're gonna hear it in a different way okay. you are going to hear it in such a different way all of you are the conversations that have come before have cued this up for a perfect understanding of this. So just relax and enjoy what's coming next. So our friend yesterday wanted $100,000 so that she could take a really nice vacation. Mm -hmm. And we talked about how there's lots of journey that leads to the $100,000. And then you can have a perpetuation or a continuation of the journey. So you want to live happily ever after that's what you're looking for in the same way she wanted a hundred thousand dollars you want to live happily ever after so you make this person the cornerstone of you living happily ever after yeah so you're just trying to start out here you're not doing this work first you're not shoring up your ability to be tuned in, tapped in, turned on with or without him. You're not finding alignment just because you want to. You're not meditating your way in the non-resistance and then perpetuating the good feeling thoughts until you get on that high flying disc. In the same way that our friend yesterday was counting on the $100,000 before her happily ever after could start, you're counting on this person being there before your happily ever after can start. Are you following us? Yeah. Totally. when there's so much more that you want to find leading to this person but this person is never going to be the happily ever after it's all this connection yes. to all of this he is representative of your alignment not the reason for your living happily ever after ah, that was big alignment brought him let your lovers be representative of your vibration not the reason for your vibration oh, that's so that important was Perfect. It's so important to understand that. Wow. So what you want to say is, hey, I really like it when you're good to me. I really like it when I know that you love me. But what I really want is to feel love, not just from you, but from source and from all that is. And isn't a good pairing of words or pairing of emotions, isn't the feeling of being loved and the feeling of worthiness an identical vibration? Yes. Yes, I think that's why I'm having a hard time. So, 
Here's something that's really interesting. This is the quickest way to get to what you're reaching for. We talked about it already, so this will be easy for you to hear now. Okay. What sets your receptive mode frequency is what you're broadcasting. Okay. So instead of looking for love, if you would just love. That's what he says. <laughs> well, listen to him. If you would just love, you'd be in the receptive mode for love. And then not just this person, but endless. When you rendezvous with the sun dipping into the ocean in the moment that it dips into the ocean, that's the universe guiding you on your path of least resistance to something that really, really, really feels good to you. When you're on your way out the door and you've forgotten your jewelry and you get an impulse to go check your hair in the mirror and while you're looking in the mirror, you see your jewelry, that's loving awareness of where you are in relationship to the things you want. We're not saying that looking for love from this person is the wrong place. We're just saying it's not the only place. And when you make it the only place, you put responsibility on somebody that they don't want, that they can't possibly uphold, then it makes everything feel it doesn't feel good. Anyway. Difficult. Yeah. You've got to find it on your own and let your lovers be the byproduct of your alignment, of not the reason.